I'm making one of my favorite comfort food casseroles, chicken spaghetti. I'm already scared. Chicken spaghetti casserole. I break the spaghetti into pieces. So I just do it right over the pot. What is she doing to the spaghetti? Why is she breaking the spaghetti? Use a short pasta, but don't break the spaghetti. You're breaking my heart. So sad. It looks so sad. You guys hungry for lunch? Yes. yes. <sighs> How many toilets have you got in your house? I hope you've got enough toilets, toilets for everyone. everyone. We are very lucky to share that this video has been brought to you by Squarespace. Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate, the place where you get to learn how to cook delicious Italian recipes in your own kitchen. And we also react to some bad videos like this one. Chicken pasta made the wrong way. Everything is wrong about this. I have to say thanks to you guys. Lots of you sent me this video and it was very hard to react to this, but I've done it for you and I hope you enjoy and we learn something together. Let's watch it together, guys. Guys, this video is from a channel called Food Network. You think, okay, it must be legit, must be good. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you, this lady, she makes this dish for her family, and I feel very sorry for her family. Let's watch it together, and let's judge it together. I'm making one of my favorite comfort food casseroles, chicken spaghetti. And it's my husband's favorite, my kid's favorite. I'm already scared. Chicken spaghetti casserole. I put my chicken in the casserole just with roasted potatoes, yes. Now, spaghetti and chicken casserole, it's something I can't tell my grandmother about this. She will get very upset. I start chicken spaghetti by boiling a chicken. I just put a whole cut up chicken in a pot, brought it to a boil, then reduced the heat and simmered it for 25 minutes. Now the chicken is really tender, it's falling off the bone. That's a good thing. Yeah, especially when we make the broth, that's what we love to do. Chicken in the broth, beautiful, and come off the bone. Cool for a second. Now for the casserole recipe, I'll need some chicken broth. So I just use the broth that was created by cooking the- Fantastic, fantastic, well done. This is such a simple dish. And one of the things that makes this casserole so great is that it's easy to eat. And part of the reason for that is I break the spaghetti into pieces. So I just do it right over the pot. Oh, what is she doing to the spaghetti? Why is she breaking the spaghetti? Don't just don't use spaghetti, use a short pasta, but don't break the spaghetti, you're breaking my heart. Put the spaghetti right in the broth that I cooked the chicken in, so it gives the spaghetti great flavor. What you're doing is so great, yeah. Give flavor to the spaghetti, but don't break them. Please don't break them, don't. Use a short pasta next time. You know, you can buy short pastas. Pound of spaghetti pieces. Okay, now while the spaghetti's cooking... By the way, the broth was not boiling. How do you cook the pasta if the broth is not boiling? The pasta cooks if the water boils. If the water doesn't boil, the pasta doesn't cook. How can you be on Food Network if you don't know this stuff? I'll get the chicken ready. It's cool enough to handle. So I'm just going to hold it over the bowl that I'll mix the casserole in. Take off the skin as I go. And then I'm just grabbing the chicken and shredding it with my fingers. Oh, I beautiful. That chicken looks fantastic. I mean, it's nice, especially when you can shred it with your fingers. Beautiful. A diced onion and diced green and red bell pepper. Nice ingredient, but what are you doing with them? Hmm? This casserole recipe is from scratch, but there's one ingredient I just can't reproduce, and that's canned cream of mushroom soup. Really? You're on Food Network, you can't do mushroom soup, just saute the mushrooms and then you blend them. You got the chicken stock, use a little bit of chicken stock to blend them and you got mushroom sauce. What is that? And add in the salt and pepper. And then I add just a little bit of seasoned salt. It gives it some great flavor. Just about a half a teaspoon or so. Okay, that's the flavor that she likes. This is also optional, but I like to give the chicken spaghetti a little kick and I add some cayenne pepper. Okay, again, that's your kick. That's fine, nothing wrong. Again, already chicken pasta is not something us Italians agree. The reason why is because we like the chicken roasted with potatoes. We like the chicken in voltini. We like chicken as a main course. We don't want to mix a main course with the pasta. That's just probably a mental thing that we have. But before, we eat chicken pasta there are a thousand other pasta recipes that we want you to try before you get in love you, you love this chicken pasta porcini mushroom pasta truffle pasta seafood pasta cinghiale pasta prawn pasta and more and more there's thousands of different pasta you can have before you can have chicken pasta probably four or five little 
of sprinkles. Now I'll just give this a stir. I think the spaghetti should be ready by now. She's so happy. I mean, how can the spaghetti be ready? The broth was not boiling. Okay, but maybe they are ready. I'll just make it easy and just pull it right out. Save myself a long trip to the sink to drain this stuff. Oh. Got the spaghetti in there, so I'll just give it a stir. Start introducing all the ingredients. Honestly, why you use spaghetti? It doesn't look good. I mean, I don't, I will never approve probably a chicken pass. I'm sorry guys, if you love it, I know many of you love it. But in this case, you should have used short pasta because if you put it in the casserole, it would be like a pasta forno. It would be a lot better than spaghetti. But let's keep watching. Then the broth goes in. I'll start with about a cup of the broth that I reserved. And then at the very end, I'll check and see what the consistency is like. And I can always splash in more. So sad. It looks so sad. Some cheese. I use sharp cheddar cheese because it's particularly delicious in this casserole when it all melts. First, why is the cheese orange? You tell me, why is it orange? Normally top quality cheese is not orange, but okay, I might be wrong. Cheddar cheese, okay. You didn't choose pecorino, you didn't choose parmigiano, you didn't choose anything else. Okay, you choose this, all right. I never tried, I don't know what to say. What is this cheese like? Now you tell me guys, is this a good cheese? It's orange. Tell me more about it, because maybe I'm ignorant about this cheddar. So you tell me and I go and taste it. If you think it's worth it, I will buy it and taste it. I'll just throw two cups right into the bowl with the spaghetti mixture. Okay, now this is where I check the consistency and it does look like it needs a little more liquid. Because it's baking in the oven, you want it to be a little bit liquidy when it goes in. Then it won't get thick and gloopy. I don't think she knows what she's talking about. I mean, pasta is not for you, my friend. I'm sorry to say that, but this dish would have been beautiful without the pasta. Let me tell you, this chicken with all the other ingredients, apart from the orange cheese, because I've never tried, this would have been fantastic. Okay. Now I'll just pour it into a casserole dish. All right. Scrape all that yumminess in there. Did she say yumminess? Okay, let's keep watching. I have more cheese left and it just goes over the top. More cheese left, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I don't know what to say, but I feel like this cheese is gonna make me go to the toilet all day long. I don't know if I can trust this cheese. If this casserole is wrong, I don't wanna be right. I don't wanna be right. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <sighs> Let's watch this, let's keep watching it, and then I'll tell you how I will do this. If it was me, I'll show you how to make this. This just needs to go into a 350 degree oven for about 35 or 40 minutes. Are you guys hungry for lunch? Yes. Yeah. Oh my God, I feel so sorry for her family. Oh, her family now gonna hate that. <sighs> how many toilets have you got in your house? I hope oh, you've got enough, enough toilets for everyone. So who's the hungriest? Me. <laughs> Josh. Ooh, Josh. Josh You're gonna get a big ol' helping. Oh. <laughs> Here, Josh, you can serve some salad. Oh, oh, guys, that was like... Did you see how it looks like that? Me. Me. Josh. Ooh, Josh. Josh You're gonna get a... Guys, look at that. It's gonna be my nightmare. Look how terrible it looks. What is that? Squarespace really is the easiest platform to use and with just a few clicks, you will be adding content to your very own website. There is support if you need it and don't worry about people finding you. It even has a SEO feature, which basically means it will help people to find your site when they are searching. I know it might feel scary, but just start. I promise you will never look back. Think of the results and maybe where a simple website can take you. It could be a hobby, maybe a business idea. Just get it online fast, enjoy, spend time doing what you love. If you need a domain name, remember, Squarespace can help you to do that too. Okay, you wanna make this dish? Okay, do it, but do not use pasta, please. I'll tell you how I will make this dish, okay? First, I'll remove the pasta. Yes, I'll just remove it. Second, I will use something else instead of pasta. Maybe you can use potatoes. Maybe you can just boil the potatoes if you want and just put them in there. It gives you the carbs consistency. Something else I could have used could have been crostini. Some nice bread that you can toast and put it in there. And then the cheese. Use a nice, delicate mozzarella. You can find it everywhere. 
You can put burrata if you want. You can put stracciatella cheese. I'm speechless. But first, I will never make this dish. I don't really know how to make it. I'm just trying to give you, to help you here. I'm just trying to give you ideas, okay? Definitely remove the pasta. And let's discuss the cheese. This orange cheese, I can just can't digest it. I just don't understand how can that taste nice. It's orange. What, what kind, kind of, of milk, milk is orange? orange? I might be too old fashioned. I might be stuck to my traditions, but I want my cheese to be white like the milk. So you guys need to tell me, if this is something that you really like, am I meant to make this and try it because you think I will change my mind? I don't really want to try it. Are you please tell me what you think of this dish? I want to say thanks to you guys for sending me this dish. This is Food Network, you know. I've never been invited to Food Network to cook. I don't know why people don't know how to cook, get invited, invited to go on Food Network. Network. It doesn't make sense. So what is this world that we live in? What is happening, guys? I mean, I have to watch videos with over a million views of people making this dish of spaghetti with chicken and I just feel sorry for my nonna guys I just feel sorry for the people who have been eating this and this is something I will never want to show my nonna you know spaghetti do not deserve this <laughs> anyway what can we do this is my job I chose to do the reactions I chose to do this to myself and now I need to find a way to feel better I'm gonna have this nightmare for the next week probably so thank you so much for watching this episode. We will see you in the next video. And let me tell you, you have sent me so many videos to react to. And they are very bad. See you in the next video, guys. <laughs> I've just felt sorry for all the people that here ate this. Including her family. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And now it's time for you to go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Vincenzo's Plate to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.